Hello and welcome. In this video I want to uh, check uh, um, <clears throat> another feature. That feature is um, uh, EFS. Uh, it's very popular when you're uh, studying for either Network Plus or Security Plus so they do mention uh, the DFS it's a file system uh, encrypted file system by Microsoft it has to has NDFS uh, on, uh, like drive where the windows install before you can use this basically what does what it does is uh, you can encrypt individual files and folders so uh, BitLocker in the previous video if you remember not uh, we did the whole uh, drive bit uh, encrypted and that took maybe 20 hours to do a two terabyte so this time we are going to see if we are able to encrypt an individual file and if another user that has access to that drive can open or not so let's get started before let's uh, actually uh, go create a file if we can um, let's go to notepad <coughs> Okay, this is let's try to save it. So since it's a virtual machine, I want to save it in a and I don't have another drive. I want to save it in C and not in my document because if you save in uh, my documents folder, uh, it's automatically assigned to your user and other will not be able to access it only admin can but then they have to uh, assume the ownership of the file so that's why we're not going into any other folder just going to see try to save it here this is c right yeah let's see let's try to save it and the error say you don't have permission to save in this location uh, let's try create a new folder and see if we can save inside a folder beautiful I think we can yeah the name change so we we cannot save on C itself but we can create a folder in there and save it there let's sign out <coughs> and log in through the other user right now before encrypting it and see if we are able to access that file you can see it's saved in computer uh, let's go here and we can go to desktop see okay we can open the file let's sign out so right now without any EFS uh, anybody can access that file now we need to go back do the EFS encrypt the file and then we'll see again if uh, other users are able to access that file or not All right, so for the EFS type encrypt and uh, in the start menu type encrypt and you will see manage files encryption uh, certificates you can alternatively go through the control uh, panel as well it's asking you how you want to manage like it's just a um, um, wizard now I don't have any certificates already installed since it's a workstation meaning it's not domain joint it's not has a server uh, administrating it that's why we can create a new one 
we could create uh, with the domain join uh, as well but normally what happens is all of your security certificates are downloaded uh, from top to bottom meaning from server to the workstation but since it's not domain join so uh, that are, we don't have any already installed now you can see these are grayed out as already but if it was joined if it were to be if it was already joined uh, to a server uh, you can see the domain certificate authority so for demo purpose like self sign now self sign certificate is that you create a certificate self sign it meaning that you are authenticating it and then using that uh, so <clears throat> just to uh, understand uh, the process you, you can use that uh, so for this I'm gonna save it in documents because self sign cert let's save it so basically <clears throat> uh, you can uh, uh, in this way mm, next Oh, password. Let's do the passwords. So, self certificate. Uh, it's uh, it's discouraged uh, in security world, and you want to have a certificate from. Uh, okay, select and give files and folders. Switch to your new certificate and key. So basically, you can using the certificate, you can encrypt the whole file, uh, but we don't want that. Oh, sorry, whole folder. We don't want that. We want to do individual. So that's why we are not selecting anything. Let's go again. And this is the certificate. You could, if you click here, you will do this, and you can see it's issued to me. It should buy me. So in security world they don't they want to discourage it they want uh, certificates to be issued by a ca that certificate authority that is well known they know that okay that is a legit so whoever they are issuing must have they must have vetted them properly to get this certificate right all right so now we can close it <clears throat> let's go to that file and that is in c i hate this so now right click on the file go to properties go to security tab advance and you will do the so it's not here it's uh, one of the oh right there advanced so basically under attributes that's the advanced now these two options they are uh, either you can uh, encrypt it or compress it that was the case uh, with uh, windows 10 now we can, yep it's same still the same thing you can only check uh, one uh, it should really have been a radio button but check uh, means that there may be a way to compress and encrypt uh, uh somehow all right so now we're gonna encrypt content to secure data we click ok apply it's asking it encrypt the file and its parent folder that is recommended or just the file i'm going uh only the file it, there was another option to remember it for uh, all the files and but for now you can see now the the what just happened uh oh okay so you can see that uh, the icon kind of changed there is a yellow dot on it meaning that uh, this one is now an encrypted one and if i double click it uh, decryption happened in the background and i'm able to open the file if i close it and go back to that account let's sign out <clears throat> now that certificate was issued to me uh, and it is mine so this other user Osman should not have access to it and they should not be able to open it
All right, so let's go to this PC. Now the dot is there. If I double click it, it says, you do not have permission to open this file. See the owner of the file or an administrator or, ad, or an administrator to obtain permission. So you can see there was something in there. It's not uh, on display. And we saw earlier that this user was indeed able to access it before the EFS. So that's how you implement EFS on a Windows uh, computer. And that's how you can protect individual files. With BitLocker, you uh, really can't. Uh, only the person, <coughs> uh, the user, has uh, access to that. And then uh, they can unlock the whole drive. So there it is. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.